and welcome back to Midland Compound 1000. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Royal Scot by Hornby. So this is Hornby's uh, more recent Royal Scot uh, and by far it's, it's, I think it's his only Royal Scot. So yeah it's uh, pretty cool uh, and the model we have here today as you can see my recording software Hang on. glare. So yeah this is the Royal In The Royal Inns Killing Fusilier. I think that's correct. Or is it Inns Killing? Inns Killing? Inns Killing? Whatever. But I think this is a, a um that's an Irish name. I think so. It's on the border to, from the Republic to Northern. Um that's all I know about the real place. Uh I've got to just focus that. There you go. Uh, Royal Scott class, Royal in Killing Fusilier. I got it for 65 quid at the um, Keefley and Worth Valley Railway uh, this month. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really much else. And it is a super detail. It is, in fact, a super detail model. Uh, and it's in the BR Green. So without further ado, let's get her open. So. Get the sleeve out first. Um, so you can see there's the model inside. Uh, so yeah, this is a pre-owned model, so it's got a few extra bits on it. Uh, one side note: um, I've taken the plastic insert out because it's split, uh, split packaging, uh, due to the fact that here this kind of folds the drain cocks and the uh, steps in, so I don't like that. So I've taken that out. Uh, so yeah, and here she is. Oh, well. Or rather the box. There she is. Um, all the extra details have been applied, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and it's even got real coal of it. The joys of getting things cheaper. So yeah, here we go. Raw Scott and Patriot class. Obviously, this is the rebuild. Um, so it tells you how to oil, how to fit all the details, which these have already been pre-fitted. Uh, how to do back details. Fitting the DCC socket, um, fitting the brake rods, which I have taken off so I can fit this back in the box, uh, and also the thing where it used to have the little safety pins. Uh, so that's everything, and that will go back in the folder. Uh, here's the loco itself, then. So this is, of course, the split, bo split box packaging. Uh, so you simply just slide it off, and uh, yeah. Here she is, and she is one gorgeous locomotive. So, yeah. Right. Now she is out. Just move that away. And uh, shuffle my seat a bit. And put her into frame. There she is. Right. Quick jump cut, and we'll get a little bit lower down so I can put those back on. So, here she is then. Um... Yeah, she's a pretty, pretty um, nice loco. As you can see, the valve gear looks impressive as hell. I mean, that does look pretty damn nice. So, let's have a look at the tender first. Uh, since this is a second-hand model, someone has in fact fitted it with real coal, which is really nice of the person to do that. Um, yeah, look, I actually, in my opinion... The BR Green really suits the rebuilt Scots, I mean, they really do look nice in this livery. Because in fact, compare this to my other Scot, which was in my worst review that I've ever done, and yeah, I, I prefer that livery of this. Which is strange, because I don't normally go for BR Green, but yeah, uh, Sprung Buffers is a very nice detail. Um, I can just go in there and try and, there you go. So you can see... Some impressive details of it as I try to focus. Um, yeah, she is a very nice logo. So there's them sprung buffers again. Yeah, nice touch. Uh, good feeling sprung buffers this time. Uh, they're not too, uh, you know, stiff or uh, too, you know, too light. But uh, they're just perfect. And they give a nice amount of force feedback. That's pretty good. Uh, inside, we in fact, if I can just uh, 
Ooh, do I have anything I can show this with? Uh, not really, but um, I'll just have to use one of these. So I've got a little screwdriver here, but you can just about see there, there's some quite nice detail around there. We'll just focus in on that. Come on. Right, I'll just have to zoom in then. So you can see around here, we've got some nice details. That uh, little handles, so that's pretty cool. We've also got some nice hand railings going down here. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's got some fantastic lining around it as well. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty good. And here's the brake rods. So, yeah, pretty darn good. Uh, it's a, an older connection as well. So, uh, you've got little uh, hook here and then you've got the electric contact there. Uh, I think this is actually standard uh, standard tender that um, Hornby use sometimes on their duchesses and sometimes on their Princess Royals and their Blackfires and their ATFs and their uh, rebuilt Patriots as well. So that's pretty uh, that's pretty epic. So uh, yeah, so that's all that needs to be said about the tender. Now we move on to the locomotive itself, uh, and she is one gorgeous locomotive. Just look at her. Uh, the buffers are in fact bigger and they're the right size than like the mainline ones. Uh, if you notice the smokebox story handle is missing which is a shame but you sometimes get that with these models. As they're sometimes so delicate they just break off but I might try and find a new one. Uh, you've got a chain link coupling here probably fried separately by the last owner. Uh, the detail on the smokebox is pretty darn good. Uh, the brake rods were already applied, and as well as the steps down here, which I've had to look at some clearance issues. Uh, the valve gear, I mean, Hornby always does some fantastic Hermes valve gear, and I always love this. Um, the name itself, if I just hold it like this, you can really zoom in and see how good that looks. So you've got a little crest underneath it, which is nice, uh, and you've got lovely little sanding gear or no um oiling gear and you got your is that your reverser yeah that should be your reverser if it isn't then hey ho that seems to be a bit bent but yeah and of course the iconic uh, rebuilt patriot raw scott smoke deflectors which always look like a interesting thing the double chimney is very nice as well the safety valves are also very nicely done they're metal as well as the whistle, which is seem to have been oh, seem to have been uh, looks like it's been broken off at some point, so somebody's probably had to glue it back on. But I'm alright with that. Sixty five quid is not bad for a loco. Uh, this, is, of course, is a sliding one, which is very nice. So don't think I've actually shown this on the channel before. So get a bit more detail on that, so you can see there slides nice and easily as well. You've got glazing in the cab and got glazing for the side windows. The number's really crisply printed as well. There's even a little speedo cable. It's not really coming out too well on the camera. There, that's good. So you can see that there. And then you can see the brake rods underneath and all that lovely piping detail. Right, if I just zoom out again so I've got less pixels. Uh, yeah. And of course you can also see the uh, very interesting sanding gear. Uh, boxes and everything so we turn around to the other side should we move on to the clean side basically the non driver side so yeah that is pretty good um yeah so this is all around good now let's have a quick look at the cab because this is a pretty darn good cab i tell you look at that there that is a good cab Pretty good detail this loco is. So I'm really happy with one of these. So yeah. Uh right, um I guess we should put the tender behind her now. So simple coupling. There she is. So the Royal Inns Killing. Ein's Killing, I think that should be. I'm not sure. I'm not the best at Irish. So yeah, um yeah, she's a lovely uh, engine. So uh, I guess we best uh, put her on the track. If you don't want to see her on the track, then I'm surprised you're even into watching running model railways. But 
either way. Right, so um, let's uh, give her a run and I'll show you what the new additions to Croston are as well. So, so then everybody, welcome back to Croston, that's really stiff. But yeah, so welcome back to Croston. Haven't been in here, haven't been here a while. So I've got some new additions. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is Croston as it is now. It is in fact uh, a little bit more detailed. I've added a few things. Um, so yeah, um, I've in fact made a new Metcalf building. Uh, I've got some more stuff over there. I've got roads now, which is pretty good. Uh, I've got some trees over there. And I've got a new flat building. So everything's going pretty well. It actually looks like a starting to look like a proper railway now. So yeah. Anyway, I have in fact arranged some coaches for the Royal Scot. These, of course, are the ones off the Shakespeare Express. Um, even though they don't look, even though they uh, they don't look as accurate um, to what a Midland Railway loco would probably pull. Or so what? Um, I quite like them. So. Yeah, just move my Metcalf building. Yeah, it's all pretty good now. So, uh, just move the camera back a bit. And go a little bit more down. I thought I would have unscrewed that. And then... So, yeah. And then move to the side. Adjust everything. Hey, presto. So, let's move the train back a little bit. Um... Move that a little bit as well. Uh, yep, yeah, so make sure that's all zoomed out. Move back a bit. Right. So we, here we have the locomotive. Uh, she is here now. Um, yeah, she is a fantastic runner. Yeah, and uh, I practically, when I was running her in, because she seemed a little bit stiff when I first got her started, uh, she really is smooth. Just make sure I've got that on the line right. So yeah, she really does pull well. Um, move the camera around again. So yeah, she really is a good puller. Um, so yeah, I'll just uh, quickly jump up because I forgot to turn the electrics on. Right then, let's get her going. Think of her. Well, 
she's certainly got a lot of character and she certainly runs well so the ratings detail uh, I would say a 9 out of 10 packaging uh, 9 out of 10 running 9 out of 10 overall 9 out of 10 it, I can't say anything else it just it is a 9 out of 10 model it just really does capture the imagination of anybody and it certainly looks good especially with such details as down here and all that Ooh. so the Royal Scots is it worth it certainly if you don't have one already well I recommend it it certainly is probably one of Hulme's best locomotives it runs well it's got good good detail and can be pretty cheap if you buy one second hand so uh, I'll say goodbye now, so yeah, hope you enjoy this video, so yeah. So, this is Midland Compound 1000, and I bid you a farewell.